Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to answer a question which I often see under my videos and this is also can I use my AHA, for example glycolic acid and hyaluronic acid in the same routine? Or can I use my BHA, salicylic acid and hyaluronic acid in the same routine? And yes, you can use them together. They do not conflict with each other, they work brilliantly together. Now it can be quite confusing because we have loads of acids in that specific like name also combination and you may think that when also using too many products that also have the word acid in it you can also get irritation from it. Well in that specific case no because they work differently. Let me break it down. If we're going to have a look at AHA which stands for alpha hydroxy acid that's basically a big name for also a larger category and under that category you also have glycolic acid such as the one from the ordinary you have lactic acid you have also mandelic acid you have tartaric acid and malic acid those are just a few to mention those are all exfoliating acids so if you see a product that includes glycolic acid in it glycolic acid is an AHA if you have a product that also mentions AHA, AHA on it that product includes either glycolic acid lactic acid or maybe a mixture of them so those are all the same and those actually also exfoliate the dead skin cells away. And AHAs are most suitable if you have dry and sun damaged skin because it can help you to exfoliate the dead skin cells away on the skin surface to also achieve smoother looking skin, brighter looking skin and also has some anti-aging and hydrating properties to it. But AHAs are less suitable if you have specifically also sensitive skin because it can lead to burning and stinging. And then on the other hand, you have your BHA. Now your BHA stands for beta hydroxy acid. And in cosmetics, it's also referring to salicylic acid. So also if you have a salicylic acid at home, then that one is mostly suitable if you have also oily, acne prone skin and also suffering from blackheads, maybe also have sensitive skin, also rosacea prone skin. Because the acid is able to also unclog the pores deeply and also exfoliate away the dead skin cells from the skin to also achieve a bit more of a clearer skin in general. So there you have also the two categories. I know like loads of words with acids and then again if you're going to add another acid to your routine like hyaluronic acid you may think that hyaluronic acid also would work like an AHA or BHA that helps you to exfoliate the skin. But with hyaluronic acid even though it has the word acid in it it works completely different. Hyaluronic acid is a sugar that also attracts water to the skin and it acts like a hydrating ingredient. So if you have a hyaluronic acid serum at home, it's basically a hydrating serum. And therefore they do not conflict with each other, but they work brilliantly together. And this also brings me now to the example skincare routines that I want to share with you, which I also have prepared in PowerPoint slides, so that you also can see what routine it also would be, the order of application, and also when you're going to use them. And so the first one also includes an AHA or BHA cleanser, because those are also products that you can get or like ingredients that you also can find in cleansers and this can be for example a morning and or evening skincare routine. Now when choosing an AHA or BHA cleanser that's the first step because it can help you to wash your face and at the same time also exfoliate your skin. Then once you're going to remove it you're going to pat the skin dry and then also add your hyaluronic acid to the skin. Now use a bit like between two to three drops of your hyaluronic acid serum. A few drops more depends also on the texture and how you are able to blend it into the skin but don't use too much of it. It should be fully absorbed into the skin and it should not sit on the skin because if it sits on the skin and you have used too much product and your skin can't fully absorb it, it can like either look very shiny, also feel very tight on the skin as you would wear a mask but it also can lead to some extent to also peeling when then also for example using a moisturizer or sunscreen afterwards. So the, this is basically the order of application. You're washing your face with your AHA or BHA cleanser, then apply your hyaluronic acid serum on top. Then if you also should feel the need, depending on your skin type, use a moisturizer afterwards. For moisturizer, about a pea size amount, apply it evenly all over your face. And this could also be, for example, your last step in your evening skincare routine. However, if you're going to do this in the morning, don't forget your last step is going to be your sunscreen and use about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon for your entire face and neck. Now this is just an example skincare routine so that you also have a brief understanding how you can properly use it. 
How often you can also exfoliate your skin with cleansers or other leave on exfoliating acids depends on your skin concerns and what your skin can tolerate. As for example, with salicylic acid cleansers, if you're using it too often and your skin cannot tolerate it or may react a bit differently to it, then it also can lead not only to irritation but also dryness. Those are already signs that you may want to use it less often. If you're using, for example, an AHA exfoliating acid cleanser, then it also may on the skin then it may not be the right one for your skin needs so therefore please make sure that you're always going to adjust it to how often you're going to use and if you're also going to choose an AHA or BHA cleanser now this is one routine Another example routine would be, for example, an evening skincare routine where we are going to move on to exfoliating acids that you can also leave on the skin. Sometimes they are actually called leave-on exfoliating acids. Sometimes they are called, for example, like the ordinary one, glycolic acid toning solution. Or the one from Pixi is also a tonic, which also includes glycolic acid in it. It's basically a liquid that includes an exfoliating acid, like a certain percentage of it. Whereas, for example, with Paula's Choice Exfoliating Acid, she has also mentioned right here on the packaging that those are exfoliating acid. There's no toning word or tonic word in it. Those are real exfoliating acids so that it's also less confusing. And so when also using them in your evening skincare routine, because this is also when it's preferred to be used because it exfoliates the skin and also can make your skin a bit more sensitive to the sun, um, it is just basically the best recommendation. So the way that you also would use it in your evening skincare routine also would look like this. You're going to get started with your gentle cleanser. It is important that you're sticking to a gentle cleanser, not an AHA or BHA exfoliating acid cleanser because we're already using a leave-on exfoliating acid in that specific routine. So there are just a few examples like the ordinary CRV or Cetaphil cleansers. Those are very gentle. Wash your face with it, pat the skin dry, then also move on to your leave on exfoliant. Now the brand that you're going to use depends also on what you have at home but I want to give you some examples with also AHAs like the ordinary glycolic acid or also lactic acid or mandelic acid. Those are all AHAs. The way that you're going to apply it also depends also on the product that you have at home. If you have something like this which is a bit more of a toner like you can also use it with a cotton pad apply about a coin size amount onto your cotton pad and swipe it gently across your face and neck do not get it into your eyes and keep an eye on the eye contour if you have for example um, exfoliating acids like different AHAs like lactic acid or mandelic acid which come with a dropper use about two to three drops maybe a few drops more so that you can also evenly apply it all over your face and also make sure that your skin can fully absorb it. You don't need a lot of product of it. You should be able to evenly apply it and your skin also should be able to fully absorb it. You don't need to use half a pipette to full a pipe, like to an entire pipette full of product. That's definitely too much and also can lead to irritation because your skin feels overwhelmed with acids being used. So therefore, only stick to one of them, either glycolic acid, either lactic acid, or if you have like one like Paula's Choice, she has an AHA that already includes different um, AHAs in it, like lactic, glycolic or malic acid, and that's still one product, like one exfoliating acid that you're going to use. You don't need multiple exfoliating acid products in that specific routine, one is enough. Then once you are done with the application of your exfoliant, then you can also wait a bit in between so that your skin is able to fully absorb into the skin and then move on to your hyaluronic acid. And when also again using your hyaluronic acid, stick to two to three drops, a few drops more if you should feel the need and apply it evenly all over your face. Now you can stop after the hyaluronic acid application depending on your skin type but you can of course also add your moisturizer afterwards this would be an example skin care routine in the evening when also using your AHA and hyaluronic acid together in the same routine then the other one is also an example evening skincare routine using a BHA so basically salicylic acid and your hyaluronic acid serum in the same routine 
Again, it's very similar. Start off with a gentle cleanser, which is really important. Wash your face, pat the skin dry. Move on to your BHA salicylic acid product. There are several ones on the market. If you have one where you also have to dispense the product onto, make sure that you're using it on a cotton pad. Use a coin size amount, apply it evenly all over your face and neck. If you have a salicylic acid solution that also include, or basically comes with a dropper, as this one for example again use about two to three drops maybe one or two drops more and evenly apply it all over your face and neck and then once you also have applied your um, BHA to your face then you're going to leave it on the skin similar to your AHA leave that one on the skin and then you're going to give it a bit of time if your skin should feel the need to also absorb it then once your skin has absorbed the product you're then also going to move on to your hyaluronic acid Again, same application as already mentioned earlier, and if you should feel the need to add a moisturizer afterwards, then you can do so. And then the other one is also an example skin routine using also an AHA or BHA exfoliating acid mask, since there are also a few ones on the market. So also when using an exfoliating acid mask, depending also on your skin concerns and skin type, then you're going to do it like this. You're going to get started with a gentle cleanser. Again, use a gentle cleanser. Pat your skin dry and wait around five minutes in between so that your skin can fully dry. When using an exfoliating acid mask, do not apply it on wet skin. That's really important because those exfoliating masks are stronger and therefore also should not lead to irritation because if you're going to apply it on wet or damp skin, it can increase the absorption of the product and therefore is more likely to also cause irritation. Therefore, applying your exfoliating acid mask on dry skin is important. Then once you have applied your exfoliating acid mask to your face, leave it on the skin for 10 minutes and then again rinse it off with water and pat the skin dry. Then move on to your hyaluronic acid serum. The application is the same as already mentioned and if you should feel the need afterwards, use a moisturizer. Now keep in mind this is an evening skincare routine, there's no sunscreen needed. When using a leave on exfoliating acid in your evening skincare routine, or also exfoliating acid mask, you always should wear sunscreen during the day because it makes your skin sensitive to the sun. So therefore, to also protect the skin, don't forget your sunscreen during the day. And then the last example skincare routine is also a general example skincare routine which you can also do, for example, in the morning. Now, generally speaking, when also using exfoliating acids in your skincare routine, it is preferred to be used in the evening. However, for whatever reason, you also may want to use it during the day, it also would look like this. You're going to get started with your gentle cleanser. Um, pat the skin dry, then move on to your leave-on exfoliant, either your AHA or BHA. Then you're going to apply your hyaluronic acid serum, then if you need to, your moisturizer, and then follow with a sunscreen. Your sunscreen is really important when also using your exfoliating acid during daytime. Not only when also just using your exfoliating acid in the evening, but also if you would add it in your morning routine. Your sunscreen is key during the day, that's really important. Now when it comes to the sunscreen part, depending also on your daily activities, if you have like an office job or you're being most of the times at home, an SPF of 15 or higher is great for everyday use. However, if you have outdoor activities where you're being exposed to the sun for several hours, use an SPF of 30 or greater and also don't forget to reapply it every two hours and also after sweating or swimming, so that you're also making sure that you're going to protect the skin. Use about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon full of product for your face and neck. Of course, don't forget the rest of your body when also being exposed to the sun and apply it liberally 30 minutes before also being exposed to the sun itself. So that the sunscreen also has time to set and also can work to protect the skin. Now, this is basically also what I wanted to share with you so that I hopefully have now helped you to understand that hyaluronic acid is not like an exfoliating acid. It's different. Therefore, you can also use them in the same routine. Your hyaluronic acid, the easiest way on how you can remember it, is also an hydrating ingredient, whereas your AHA or BHA, uh, AHA or BHA are actual exfoliating acids that can help you to also exfoliate your skin. I do also want to quickly emphasize the 
that basically when using an AHA or BHA in your skin care routine, how often you can use them depends on your skin concerns and skin tolerance. Some people can use their AHA or BHA daily and that's fine, whereas others prefer to use it only a few times per week. If you're being new to your AHA or BHA, I recommend starting off slowly, use it two to three times per week, and after a while you may also feel the need to increase the frequency of it, and if your skin can tolerate it, then you can do so. However, it is fine to only just use it a few times per week, if that's already enough for your skin. And this also may depend on um, how your skin exfoliates itself as well, because this is what it does naturally. However, it sometimes also cannot work properly anymore, especially also when getting older. So therefore you can say that for example when also being a bit younger you may not need uh, to exfoliate your skin as often as someone that already is a bit older where the skin function of the exfoliating part does not properly work anymore. So therefore always adjust the frequency of your exfoliating acid part depending on how your skin is going to respond to it. Now this is also what I wanted to share with you. I also do hope that you enjoyed the video and find it helpful. If you did so, please also don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as share it. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring. Bye.